Right, we are going to see this uh, private VLAN, Cisco's concept called private VLAN on switches, where we learned that there are three modes, promotious mode, that's a member of primary VLAN, and isolated community mode, that are a member of secondary VLAN. Isolate mode members cannot talk to each other. Community mode members can talk to each other. But both the community as well as isolate can talk to the promotious mode, meaning all can ping this computer because it is in promotious mode. Likewise, this can ping everyone. But six cannot ping seven and five. Not only that, 6 cannot ping 3 and 4. But 4 and 3 can ping each other if there will be another community this 4 and 3 cannot ping them because that is another community. Members of the same community will talk to each other then there is no need for more than one isolate mode but there may be a need for more than one community mode <coughs> promotion port is the place where if you want to have reachability between these different modes we will keep a router and they will put them in different subnets so that they can get routed so Let's see how to configure this private VLAN. Currently, if you see, there is no private VLAN configured. All the interface belong to the default VLAN 1. And all this can ping each other without any problem. Let me show you that from PC2. I'm pinging 10.0.0.7, which is a isolate mode member. This ping will happen even after our private VLAN config. I can ping 10.0.0.3. Because this is in a promotious mode, this should ping even after private VLAN configuration. But currently there is no private VLAN configuration. Everyone should ping each other. I'll go to R6 and, sorry, the VPC6 and show you. I can ping the community member 10.0.0.3. Now it will ping because they are not in private VLAN. <coughs> Now, uh, isolate member pings community because it is not truly an isolate member. We have not configured. This will not happen later. Likewise, if I try pinging 10.0.0.7, I'll not be able to ping because 10.0.0.7 is in the same isolate mode. 10.0.0.6 cannot ping 10.0.0.7. Right, so let's begin our configuration now. We need the switch, so let me go to the switch console. It's just like out of box. No configuration so far, except the host name. We need to decide on the VLAN numbers. That's the very first uh, thing that we need to do. So. Let's say we want VLAN 100 to be the primary and the sub VLANs VLAN 150 will give it to the community members and VLAN 200 will give it to isolate. This is the idea, right? So let's do this. First thing you need to do is create all these three VLAN. VLAN 100. Wait a minute. VTP VLAN configuration not allowed when the device is not a primary server for VLAN device. Okay. I think this is in uh, VTP. Show VTP status. Yeah, it's in VTP mode. 
This is VTP version 3 mode. You need to put this in server mode. Uh, server, server primary, but let us change it to version 2, there won't be any problem. We have finished learning VTP, so let's not get into it. I'm going to say VTP version 2, then this problem won't be there. Um, the password hidden operation is not supported in version 2. Disable the password hidden option before you... Hmm. Okay, no problem. VTP password right version 2 none now see I forget about whatever I did that's not related to the private VLAN now I'm going to do private VLAN configuration from the beginning VLAN 100 VLAN 150 VLAN 200 then what is next VLAN 150 and 200 are secondary VLAN so let us define that VLAN 150 um, private VLAN community Private VLAN can only be configured when VTP is in transparent or off mode. That is true. That is true. You cannot have VTP and private VLAN. But if you have version 3 uh, of VTP, you can use it. So, I'm going to do one more thing. VTP... more transparent that solves the problem see this is the reason why i took this topic private vlan while i was teaching vtp vtp we started because we were learning vlans so this is the connection vlan replication needs vtp but if you are enabling vtp you need to be very careful what you cannot have private vlan if you are running vtp version you need to put the switches in transparent mode for private VLAN. Another thing we learned is MST, which we are going to see next. VTP version 3 alone can distribute or replicate the MST config. Version 2 won't do it. Version 1 won't do it. When we go there, we'll discuss. Now, I put in VTP mode transparent. I got the VLANs already configured. Now I'm going back to VLAN 150 and say you are a community VLAN. It accepted. And then VLAN 200 private VLAN isolate. <coughs> Next. See, after defining these two, only you need to go to the primary VLAN. Primary VLAN 100. Private VLAN, you will not have a command called Prometheus. You will have a command called Primary. And then we need to associate Primary VLAN Primary. Okay, Private VLAN Primary. And then Private VLAN Association command. Meaning, we are going to map those secondary VLANs to this primary VLAN. So, primary uh, uh, private VLAN association. And now, we need to give the VLAN ID of the private VLAN to be configured. What are the VLANs? 150, comma, 150 and 200. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Private VLAN associate association add. Not necessary actually. And that command is not needed. I'll say again 150. Maybe next command I'll say. Uh, yeah. 
Yep, it works. So no space, 150 comma 200. So this 150 and 200 we have mapped to the primary VLAN 100. Right now we are inside primary VLAN 100. You see? We are inside primary VLAN 100. And now we have associated 150 and 200. Now that's it here. The other things will go under the interface. So what we have configured so far, let's go and see. <coughs> Show private VLAN. So run I don't think it will show you here because it is saved. Okay, it shows. No, not a problem. We got we got private VLAN 100, 150, 200. We have associated this thing. It looks like you know some configurations are before we did not create it. Somehow it is there. Anyway, our focus is only on these things. We have done so far only these things. Let's now move on to the Prometheus mode. Interface G0 slash 1. Switch port. Private VLAN. And then the command we need is mapping command. mapping command and then the primary the primary extended range of the private VLAN. this for the Prometheus port right now we are in the Prometheus port so I'm going to say first the primary what is the number 100 followed by the secondary VLANs what are the secondary VLANs that will be talking to this Prometheus 150 comma 200 boom switch port private VLAN mapping command don't forget switch port private VLAN mapping command next switch port mode access Switch port access VLAN 100. This belong to the primary VLAN 100. Now let's verify this. Show run interface G0 slash 1. So these are the configurations that we have put. We said, as usual, we said this belong to VLAN 100. But this VLAN 100 is a primary, uh, private VLAN 100, which is a primary VLAN for these two secondary VLANs that will access this particular port done there is also one more command I remember I left which is interface g0 slash 1 switch board private VLAN host association oh, sorry sorry no, no this command won't come here this is only on the isolate and the isolate and the community let's go let's go to the isolate ports now there are three isolate ports starting from interface g0 slash 3 and let me say range g0 slash 3 comma g1 slash 0 hyphen 1 yep so these three interface these three interface belong to isolate so i'm going to say Switch port mode access switch port private VLAN private VLAN host association command host association command and this host association is not the command that we used in the Prometheus port. Please remember we did not use host association, we use mapping command. Only on this host ports, these are all host ports. 
is say host association um, and then the primary VLAN what is the primary VLAN 100 and these ports are isolate ports so what is the number for isolate 200 that's it don't say 150 here why these ports are not community ports 150 is for community only isolate so first you need to say the primary VLAN followed by the isolate VLAN if you see I can show you the syntax you see first comes the primary VLAN 100 and then comes the secondary VLAN for this particular interface this particular interface belongs to isolate is three interface so I say 200 yeah done that's it now here there's more nothing more to do switch port access VLAN 200 that's also that next interface range G0 slash 0 I fan 2 no 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 one is on the promotions. I should not say oh, I, I, I should say G0 slash 2. Only these two interface. And I'm going to say the similar command. Switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN uh, 150. And then switch port private VLAN host association. 100 is the primary, 150 is the secondary. That's it. Switch port private VLAN. See, it's the host association command I used. Now, let's verify. Show switch board. Oh. Show interface G0 slash 0 switch board private VLAN. No, we don't have the command, so no problem. No problem. Show a run interface G0 slash 0. Let's see what I have configured. <laughs> I have configured the host association command dot one q trunk encapsulation dot one q. I did not configure this. It is okay. I said switch port mode access. That is what I needed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check pinging from this VPC three and VPC four because VPC three and VPC four they belong to same 150 which is a community VLAN you can see the community described section VLAN. <laughs> then 150 is a community VLAN which we defined earlier community VLAN so I should be pinging now between these two let's go and ping and check on VPC three ping ten zero zero four. Something is wrong. The additional commands that uh, I need to do is interface range. I'm going to say G zero slash zero comma G zero slash Two I fan three comma G one slash zero comma no I fan one in all this port I forgot to say these are all host ports not permissions ports so switch port private VLAN host association no 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 switch port private VLAN or switch port mode private VLAN host yeah this is the command this is the command I forgot this needs to be 
10 figure first 10 now so the access mode trunk mode commands are not really necessary um, that I should have avoided this is the important command switchboard mode private VLAN host so if you see here show run interface G02 um, this is what exactly needed the access mode and also it got removed uh, you need only these two even this is not necessary not needed so the Prometheus port which is G0 slash 1 interface G0 slash 1 switch port mode private VLAN Prometheus we need to define this the other ports are host ports this is Prometheus port done now let's verify show interface G show run interface g0 slash 1 uh, you see it's a Prometheus port this is the VLAN that is mapped these two are not really necessary you may remove it these things are not really needed now it's even if it is there it's not going to hinder you fine so what is next is we are going to check verifying from the PCs see from the Prometheus member the primary member I should be reaching everyone first I'll check that earlier we were pinging this before we configured private VLAN now let's check okay even now I'm able to ping the community member from Prometheus uh, what about the isolate member yes I do ping the isolate member fine this is common but between the isolate the ping should not happen let's go and verify that VPC 6 uh, the 7 should not ping because it's in the same community sorry same isolate mode see it's not pinging the 6 and 7 they are in the same isolate even 5 should not be pinged Yeah, but it can ping 10.0.0.2. Ping 10.0.0.2 because it's in the Prometheus port. It is pinging the second PC. But not the immediate PCs in the same mode. Likewise, communities should ping each other. I'll go to VPC 3. And ping 4. This ping should reach now. Because they are in same community. Likewise, this community members can ping 10.0.0.2, which is in Prometheus. Yep. Uh, 